Eight businesses damaged, four buildings destroyed, and dozens of commuters stranded. Right now, firefighters are still on the scene after a very large fire in historic Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. It all started around 3.15 this morning, and our John Gonzalez was first on that scene, and he joins us now live from Harpers Ferry with the problems it is still causing even at this hour. John? Jimmy, you're absolutely right, because there are even still a number of road closures at this hour here in this historic town, including Shenandoah, Potomac, and High Street, which is where we are here. And we are now at this hour right up against the yellow caution tape. And, well, up close and personal, you can see the extent of the damage here. Still a number of firefighters on the scene as the buildings continue to smolder. During the calm of the night in an already quiet old town of Harper's Ferry, flames ripped through a historic section of buildings. In all, four buildings, at least one of them, some 200 years old, are destroyed. Eight businesses inside are a total loss, including the popular private Quinn's Pub here on Potomac Street. I can't believe it. I didn't think it was going to be this bad when I got here this morning, but it just kept burning. Awful. The cause of the fire is still unknown. The initial call came in at 3.15, trying to catch up to the raging flames. Fire crews from several different jurisdictions surrounded the area. More than seven hours later, crews were still battling hot spots. We're in the overhaul stage. Uh, uh, I think everything is pretty much under control now. It's just a lot of uh, extra work going through the debris and everything to make sure we have it totally out. Livelihoods are gone almost as quickly as the brick and mortar, but fortunately no injuries reported. All we know is it started in the bigger building and it just went to the spread to this other one next to me and then it hit my place. With her sign and a few belongings covered in soot, Martha Elman, the owner of Tenfold, is trying to literally look at the bright side. With the, the sun out and the, the water, I've gotten some photographs with, with rainbows there, so you can just hope that we can rebuild. And from the rainbow to flames, take a look at this video we have just obtained. This was shot by a resident who lives right here near these businesses. He was awakened by the flames, and he quickly called 911. If you back, come back out to us live, you can see inside one of the businesses here. This is the Village Shop, one of eight businesses that is destroyed this afternoon. So a lot of folks are going to have a lot of cleanup here ahead. In the meantime, just across the street, the Mark Station here in Harper's Ferry is off limits to commuters, and it will re remain that way perhaps through today and maybe even the rest of the week. Reporting live, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News. Oh, such a tough sight there to see.